And we start with the Jean McConville murder uh, arrest because your party at the time referred to dark forces within the PSNI because those are serious charges and they're charges that were raised by uh, Deputy First Minister Martin McGuinness when he warned that the party would reflect and review Sinn Féin's support for the PSNI if charges were made. Now, is this not political interference on the part of your party? These are very, very serious well, charges. Well, I don't think he quite put it uh, like that, but let me say this. Those are his words, reflect Mar and review. Mar Yesterday, I said that the timing of uh, the arrest of Jerry Adams was politically motivated. And today's decision by the PSNA to seek uh, an extension to his uh, detention absolutely confirms that view. But it is clear that there are elements of the PSNA which summon that force, and I mean very senior people in that force, have decided or have described to us as the dark side. And these are people who continue to work to a negative and anti-peace process agenda and are involved in political policing. Following yet another spate of media speculation, part of a sustained, malicious, untruthful and sinister campaign alleging involvement by me in the killing of Mrs. Jean McCombo. Well, once he got himself into that position, it's difficult to say, well, I've changed my mind. You know, I was actually, I was actually in the IRA. Now it has got to the point of ridicule. It's a height of absurdity where you can actually produce the minutes of two meetings in 1972 that the British had with the IRA. And who were the two representatives? Dahi O'Connell and Gerry Adams. They disappeared at the single biggest, you know, uh, darkest part of the troubles really. Because it's the denial, it's the dishonesty, it's the not knowing what happened, it's the lack of truth about it that, that people are finding very difficult to deal with. My wife always says she would trust Martin McGuinness with her life. She doesn't say that about me. But <laughs> Leader. Leader of Irish Republicanism. 